Okay, I don't know who this message is for, but um, when I was doing Krishan Rock into Seki's reading, Lace and Poison came out, but it didn't come out, okay? I don't know if this message was for them or if this message were, was for someone else who was listening to the reading. But anywho, it may resonate, it may not, may not resonate. But Laced and Poison came out for a reason. I don't know if it's an evil dark energy that surrounds you, um, that tried to do something to you or someone around you, but that energy is lingering around. Okay, so if you feel off or something isn't right, or some type of disconnection, that means that is someone else's energy transferring down to you. So maybe something that happened to you or someone around you, somebody could be communicating with the enemy. Do that make sense? That's saying keep your enemies closer. Okay, but it's a deeper meaning to that. So basically what I'm saying is you could have been involved in some type of incident or someone around you. This could be a friend, family member, foe, or this could be a, a, a lover. All right. Um, there was an incident that occurred, whether that's past, present, or future energy. If this energy is still lingering around, okay? Maybe somebody is lying about someone's presence. Somebody is trying to hide and conceal a person, place, or thing. And what happens in the dark always comes to the light. So, like I said, it may resonate. It may not, okay? But lace and poison so if somebody did something to your food um, a drink whether that's a soft drink liquor smearing off beer I don't know what the fuck this is about or someone could have said something occurred and blamed it on someone else the whole time it was a setup if that makes sense so maybe somebody you know around you or you yourself um, was involved in something and it could have been a matter of life and death or near death experience 222 so I'm getting someone you love and long story short um, it could have been a setup to remove you out of a situation so I'm picking up on the energy of something could occur that you were supposed to leave a person place or thing alone Okay, but now since you haven't left that person, place, or thing alone, maybe karma is coming and you need to get the fuck out the way. Maybe you should take heed, okay, or um, a dark energy from the past is lingering, whether that's around your home, um, your business place. Um, I don't fucking know, but the past is trying to hunt you and your person okay or just your person something isn't right okay so like i said if you've been able to not eat you've been feeling ill all of a sudden feeling sick feel, feeling hearing and seeing things shadows feel, hearing voices thinking you're seeing people or thinking people are walking around that's the spirit of satan that I means there's an unwanted energy that keeps lingering around your fucking home your people's home uh who the fuck knows around your children somebody needs to take heed okay and this could also just be the most high God telling you that someone isn't done with someone else or maybe someone has a secret relationship you feel what I'm saying it's like a person's past it's like I don't know if it's you or your person that can't leave your past alone but something is wrong with someone. Okay, someone claims they don't like to be hurt, misused, or abused the whole time. They constantly dealing with people who come in to kill, steal, and destroy, if that makes sense. And I'm talking about they do the evil shit to a motherfucker and just accept it type shit, sweep it under the rug. And then... Maybe this person is constantly keeping all these enemies around because they're using them all at the same time. Either way it go, it's a never-ending cycle. Um, somebody is cursed. Somebody's relationship is hexed. Um, maybe someone you know who has gotten set up said that they're not friends or an associate with someone else the whole time. 
they are. Maybe your person energy has been off. You feel what I'm saying? Um, something just is off. So just remember poison and lace and come back to this reason reading and will come back to this energy that I picked up on. And you will um, have a better understanding of who this person is or if this message even is for you. You feel what I'm saying? So like I said, just be careful and take heed because it's not good to be around people who's caused you trauma and pain. And then you kind of, you know, all in the same time, you sitting around here lying and saying, hey, I'm done with this person. I've forgiven them. I moved on or I'm cutting this person off. But you're still fucking with somebody who caused you pain and trauma. Five, five, five. Something is wrong. And spirit is trying to warn somebody to get away from this person, whether that's a friend, family member or some type of relationship, 222 two, two didn't come out for nothing. Something is off balance, okay? And somebody needs to use their discernment because God is trying to warn you to leave this person, place, or thing alone immediately. Before you do something, something happens to you or something happens to the person or people around you. Whoever doing what the fuck they doing, they don't understand it that it's affecting everybody as a whole okay because when you dance with the devil and you still engage and act like you're done with a motherfucker who wronged you and you still got them around and you know they call someone or a particular group of people pain and trauma do you know what that person or how that person is going to respond and act or react if they find out that you're hanging with the enemy somebody who could have caused y'all maybe to um, break up or to lose everything. This is the type of energy that could be bisexual, down low, or gay, or into both sexes. Um, this person is confused about their identity and who they are, and they don't have a sense of self-awareness or discernment. Um, whoever this person is has a lot of addiction issues, abuse, domestic, um, drugs, um, sexual addictions, um, could have been in and out of prison. Something is wrong. Somebody is also is ill or going to become ill because somebody keep playing with fire and somebody is a compulsive liar. I'm going to tell you right now, if you were the type of energy that constantly lies for no reason about who you're with, what you're doing, your whereabouts, you know what I'm saying? Just basic shit. The most high God will take you to fuck up out there. You won't reach one goal that you think you about to reach. You feel what I'm saying? Not on his time. Okay? There's a lot of angels set out in place to protect people from evil. Okay? So, I'm hoping that you well protected. That you got a relationship with the most high God. And whatever curses or spells or hexes are upon you, that they be removed in the name of Jesus, okay? Because this ain't no game, all right? We only here for a matter of seconds. It ain't even minutes no more. And people are unaliving themselves and everybody else around them. So like I said, I don't know who this message is for. I could be picking up on past, present, or future energy or something is about to come. And I'm telling you beforehand, don't do it, okay? This could also be a message of don't drink, don't talk to this energy, don't entertain them, don't work with them, don't be around them, don't let them around your family again. If they wronged you, if somebody tried to set you up, why would you still be chilling with the enemy 9-11? And I've also been picking up on 9-11 for almost over a week and certain things have been happening. But you know what I'm saying? Like, why would you sit up here and want to hang with the enemy? Why would you want to hang with somebody who could have caused you and your family harm or maybe was on the scene of something that happened and didn't even try to de-escalate a situation. I don't know, but whatever this is, it's giving setup. And whoever you are, you're an easy target because you don't use discernment, like I was saying, and you may not have a sober mind or you've, you're buried into work or you have a busy life 
we have a lot of businesses to run or I don't know what the fuck this is for you. Only you know what this message is or it means for you. But somebody definitely not paying attention. Okay? And something is going to happen. I can feel it in my gut, in my stomach. When I can't eat, sleep. When I'm having insomnia. Um, when I feel nauseous. Um, when I'm not eating or feel restless. If I'm crying too much. Something is going to happen near me. It don't matter who it is. I'll never know exactly who it is. Sometimes spirit and the most high God shows me, but I'm not getting a good feeling. I'm getting a very uneasy feeling. A bad spirit, an evil spirit, a satanic spirit, 1044. So I hope you got protection. I hope you prayed up and I hope you not letting the enemy know what you what you, what your right hand doing every time like you know like this is ridiculous i don't know who this is for but somebody just reopened a chapter that they won't be able to close 11 11 somebody is about to lose everything and everyone around them okay due to their own um fuck ups due to their mistakes to their own act their actions Okay, they put themselves in these predicaments and situations. 1133, now they got to figure out how to get themselves out of something that they they um got themselves in, that they should have left alone a long time ago. That's why they say, when people are in your past, leave them in your past. They're in your past for a reason and continue to move forward. You don't want to open that chapter. And then now the same thing that has occurred to you the first time, 1155, is going to happen again. 10 times worse and somebody may not make it out alive due to somebody's actions not taking accountability somebody being very deceitful sneaky conniving having malice in their heart 12 12 trying to get ahead of everyone else not thinking before they act trying to set people up to get ahead somebody is greedy somebody feels like they run everything somebody walking around like this shit don't stink i'm hearing ego pride okay will kill you faster than anything all right this person has a very sharp sharp tongue like a sword 1244 they think the things they say just get swept under the rug they may say things they never say oh i apologize they just do and do and do and take and take and take and they're very selfish being greedy money hungry selfish having addiction issues feeling like you run the world and you run everybody around you that's demonic as fuck okay maybe somebody feels like they got a month some money or they got a lot of stability or i don't know what but somebody is very big-headed and the most high god finna bring them right down and humble humble them and this person who constantly is sitting here allowing all these things to happen, 1333, they're going to experience the most pain that they've ever experienced in life. They're going to go through the dark night of the soul because they allowed an earth angel or they put an earth angel life in danger. But I got to go. My baby is up.